What's going on boys? My name is Sid and this car right here is new to the game today. The newest Summit car and only the third Summit car to ever be in the touring spec. And technically only the second touring car because the first was a bike. But this thing feels very, very cool. Obviously the new touring handling. Very sluggish right now because we don't have any parts on it. I love the way this thing looks from the back especially. Because what does the normal cool baby look like i don't think that at least from the back it looks like it's got like the 911 turbo in the back with like an extra attachment on it it's got the cool front as well we'll look at the normal coupe baby but today we're gonna be going into the summit for this very car the like 60s or 70s or 80s one of the t's it's one of those years Head down there, subscribe with notifications on. It'll be very much appreciated. Check out some of my other content down there in your recommended. So after this one, just go watch one of those videos, you know. There's the normal coupe baby. Oh, I have it. Right. Okay, let me do this and let me drive it. Okay, so, I mean, I guess that's what the normal thing looks like from the back. Kind of. But the new one is way more spread basically and it looks very cool a very very sick design on the new coupe baby are those the crew two tires wait a minute wait 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 wait, wait. is that a bundle with the crew two tires i gotta do a video on wait and i don't have this ktm yet i haven't bought the ktm yet am i gonna have to do a video on the crew two tires that's sick. Wait, what? Why have they added the crew to tires? I don't... Have I missed anything like this? Because I, I wouldn't have spotted this on my own. But don't tell me I missed something like crew to tires. Street art tire. Crew to tires. That, that seems... I mean, this seems a bit overpowered to be using the tires of the game in the game. I'd be using the crew to tires and the crew to. That would be cool. Uh, right, the summit. Let me know if you want to see a video on that bundle, I guess, because that would also be a video on the KTM uh, by proxy. Let's empty our HQ mailbox, which is over here, and then let's go into the summit. And also, I'm going to skip this. It was a long... Okay, I just said I was just going to skip this, but then I continued talking, so I'm going to leave this in now. Actually, no, I won't. No, I will actually skip this. Here we go, heading into the summit. I'm only bronze because I basically only went into this summit to see the event that was entirely broken, which they didn't end up fixing. They did address it, but they were just kind of like, yeah, this is really broken, so we're not going to mess with it we got an agency thing next week which i believe is because both the nighthawk and the f type sorry e type i believe those both are coming back that week because there was i think the f type was supposed to come back this week but it didn't because they accidentally brought it back early and whatnot there's the uh, we're gonna be using that car quite soon let's hop into the aerobatics and then i'll talk about what i was about to talk about i don't know if i talked about this already i'll show the plane while i do this as well this is the plane with the parts and whatnot this is the plane you want to be using the Harmon rocket hr3 something like that this is the exact plane you want to be using but a very long maintenance today that's why this video is going to be fairly late but also hey look i'm back to schedule okay look i said obviously late video but this video was going to be late whether i was on schedule or not but like i did say i'm back to working now okay so don't even i don't even want to hear it I'm actually back to working, so that's what we're gonna do. This one is fairly simple. I mean, with aerobatics, the thing I always say is that, like, there's no point in not getting perfect. It's not painfully hard to get perfect on all of them. Make sure you have a maxed out aerobatics plane and whatnot, but it's not terribly difficult to get perfect, so if you do miss one on the way, it's worth going back through it, right? The reason I got so many points is because obviously I have the parts on that add the points and whatnot. I remember I accidentally ended up... Okay, we're going into a boat slalom now, actually, I believe. Yeah, LA River. I accidentally skipped over a boat slalom in my last summit vid... Oh, this isn't a boat slalom. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we're going to be using Rally Raid because I have the Rally Raid boosted parts and whatnot. But I remember I skipped over a boat slalom by mistake, or at least the main chunk of the boat slalom, completely by accident. Because the reason I skipped over it is that when I'm editing, I normally just leave in the parts where I'm talking, right? That makes sense. I try to, uh, uh, most of the time at least, I just try my best to always be talking when something is going on on screen. That's why, yeah, I will try my best. There'll be very few clips where I'm not talking because it's just the way I edit around it. It's just the way I sort of sort out what uh, stays in the video and what doesn't. So there's only few clips where I'm like something happens and then afterwards I say something. But with the boat slalom that I did last summit, I just kind of forgot to say something. I just did the whole thing and forgot. And someone was like, 
I can't believe you cheated. You cheated in that slalom. I know you did. I know you did, Sid. Why did you cheat? I w I, d I just for I forgot to have my bad. My bad. I forgot to leave it in, I guess. I forgot to talk through it. I mean, the rest of the slalom, I showed the first few bits. But then just when I did the actual full slalom, I just forgot to show that. My bad. Okay. Now an escape, which is never any fun. It used to be a lot of fun. Now I don't like it. Downtown LA. Oh, let me look around for a second. Uh, this one. Do I even know? Do I have any idea where I'm supposed to go for this one? I'm going to use Alpha GP just because that's always simpler. And then I'll just try and see if I can muscle memory it. And it's not really muscle memory. I mean more like actual memory. Like, can I, like, just by seeing it be like, oh, it's this one. I mean, straight away, I feel like it's one where I have to be going this way. So, like, that's promising. And I think it's one where I go through it. And then, and then and miss it is, is the one that this is. Yeah, yeah, nice one. Obviously, realistically, you'd want to do this in drag. I just don't like using drag if you're not using wheel. You can use drag not on wheel. You just got to, like, handbrake turn through every turn. But I'm just going to use Alpha GP instead. I just find it a lot easier. Okay, I know I just crashed after saying that. But I'm fairly certain you just follow this to, like, a long highway, right? I... I think at least. I mean, I'm going on this road still. I, uh, going pretty good so far. I mean, never mind a long highway. I'm just kind of, just kind of going. I mean, I guess I could try to get on whatever this highway right here is, right? Like, oh, wait, yeah. And then you do this, but around like here, you switch over to going on the highway. Not by doing that. Okay, uh, you get the point, though. Let me get to there again really quick. Uh, not this way. And let's actually take the first turn well, right? So, yeah, it is you go through that way. Go and follow this road all the way through. I mean, obviously, using the bicycle lane is a lot better. I mean, using the sheer on 300 plus is also a lot better because this isn't really a handling one. It's like a top speed one. I made that mistake last summit as well. I used the Alpha GP car when the sheer on 300 plus goes so much quicker. Which my brain just didn't process. That's the most obvious thing in the world. It's the 300 plus, and it goes like 350 miles an hour at top speed. So, of course, that thing goes faster. But here we go. Like that, basically. That was very clean. And then it basically just becomes the longest escape in the game. Because there's another escape that's just like this that also goes on this type of uh, direction. You basically just follow... I believe it goes on this exact same road, actually. You follow the road, and that's it. You just follow it for a little bit until... Oh, uh, well, until you turn right here, but I guess there's not enough room to do so. I mean, maybe there would have been if I did use a cheer on 300 plus, but yeah, you turn right on this highway, and then, again, you just follow through. There's some, like, really wavy turns. Those ones you just go off-road on, but again, there you can see, doesn't really matter. Just getting to there, I still got very many points. With forced vehicle events, your only really priority is going to pilot, going to icon, and make sure you have your icon points on all of these ones over here on the on the, the pure extra pump, all of those. Because uh, on forced vehicles, you can't put parts on the car. It's just bone stock, basically. So, yeah, like I say, make sure you got the icon points. And here we go. A very cool car. Oh, so it's going to have this mood over it. There might I'll be music too. So Sometimes there is riding. music on these kind of ones where they're like uh, the old school ones. I remember they, they, I like when they, do, okay. I like when they do that. I feel like it, because I play music off because I'm a content creator and oh, every now and then it will be actual copyrighted music. But every now and then when I proper was focusing on the You're summit and left music on squeeze. for a little bit, it was quite nice because they actually do use a fair bit of cool music for the atmosphere. I remember it was one of the, um, I believe it was a Mexican themed summit. And in that one, they had some nice, like, uh, Mexican-style music in the background. And it was quite nice. And I imagine uh, this one does too. All of the ultra... Not the ultra-mooded, sorry. Well, at the ultra-mooded, as well as the mooded events, they all have music on them too. It's quite nice when you're a casual player, right? Like, it's like having voices on. I turned voices back on recently because it's kind of just like... I'm not here to play this game like I'm some big sweat. I don't care if I can hear the voice acting, sure. I know people get annoyed by Hero, but it's like he's still he's still a character in the game. They put him in the game on purpose. And if you've seen my interview with the voice actor of Hero, they knew what they were doing when they made him annoying. Here we go. Quite a fun race. I mean, quite a cool car too. I just, I don't think it's going to be amazing, this car. Again, 
cars can be very different when they're maxed out compared to, you know, when they're uh, not maxed out. But I just don't know if this thing will be. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But for now, at least, it's quite fun to use. Okay. Turns quite nicely, but I think that is just a new touring handling. Because as you... Okay, and then I do that. See, I always do that. I always say, go, oh, car handle good. And then I crash. Because I'm an idiot. Also, a thick, thick car. And the Coupe Baby, one of the better touring cars in general, I believe. The Coupe Baby is, uh, yeah, just one of the better touring cars overall in the spec. So, it's going to be interesting to see what ends up, okay, happening with that. Whether this one is also really good. Because, again, edition versions. Because I can sit here and be like, oh, yeah. Uh, the normal version of the Coupe Baby is good, so this thing must be, but no, that is never the case. The, uh, edition versions can be completely different. Thunder Wave of RX-8? Decent. Gold Edition RX-8? Terrible. The Ford Raptor Enforcer Unit? Amazingly good. Best in the spec. Ford Raptor from Outer Space? Utterly, utterly, embarrassingly terrible. And it's thicker too, so it's like, it's weird that they gave it so much worse handling. So yeah, just because this is an edition version of a car, doesn't mean it's going to be anywhere even near the base version of the car. There's been many times where, like, the Skyline High Octane, I believe, is worse than the regular Skyline. Dumb way of doing it, but, uh... There you go. First event done in the new Summit. By the way, there's been some changes to some of the handling. So a, so a car has been buffed. A, uh, a hypercar has been buffed, which a new video on that will be out tomorrow? It should be tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, drag event, drag events are bad. I mean, yeah, dra drag, drag, I would say, might possibly be the one event that has seen the least change throughout the entire game's history. I mean, like, aerobatics has at least gotten new methods, like the tricky method and stuff like that. I think that wasn't, like, originally, originally in the game. There was stuff like Motocross had the big Anos, and then it didn't, and then it's had meta changes. You know, there's been cars that were meta and then weren't meta. I think Drag in the Crew 2 might possibly be the least changed spec in the entire game. I think the best vehicle in this spec has always been the Viper. I'm fairly certain the best way of playing it has always just been driving a straight line i mean maybe when they added the ace part sets sure that might have made it a bit better but i don't think that had any like but that was the whole game i guess you could consider that a change when they added the the parts thing but that's never changed since they added it right the ace parts i genuinely genuinely think drag might be not only the most boring but also the least changed spec in the entire game. Which is pretty embarrassing. Basically doubly embarrassing. Um, yeah. Also, psych, I called it a viper on purpose. Get baited. Yeah, now go delete your comment. Or maybe leave your comment there about me calling it wrong. Because, to, just to show how embarrassed you must feel. Just to, to, a public shaming. Leave your comment calling me out for calling it a viper. Right now, that Reddit post you were about to make? Yeah. Irrelevant, because I did it on purpose. Yeah, now what? Yeah, yeah, you got played. I called it a viper on purpose. Now what? Ooh, ooh. Now who knows when I'm doing it on purpose and when I'm not. Most of the time I'm not, I'm just an idiot. <laughs> right. I call cars the not wrong names sometime, okay? I'm an idiot. I am. I really am. There we go. Ten, three, three, seven. One, three, seven. There we go. That's pretty good. I think that is decent. I wonder if there's going to be another broken event this summit. I would be... I would be intrigued if there was another broken event this summit. Uh, what's uh, this? Is this the new event? The Ferrari 3... Oh, that's what we have to use, right? What What is that? There's like three Ferraris in touring. Which one of them is that? Is it this? It is this. Okay. Uh, it's the like Clarence Bishop Senior Ferrari. Where are my good parts? Not on that. They're on uh, something. Probably this, I'd imagine. There you go. 8273. Let's switch those around. 
I, okay, no, I was gonna say I'll pretend like I have good pro settings. Uh, th okay, those look probably fine. Let's just use those. And then we got two street races, and uh, I, I didn't catch a glimpse of what that last one was. I didn't get a glimpse of that, but uh, should be fairly decent. Unless it's like a 15-minute race. Should be done decently quick from now. Unless this is an endurance race. That I didn't check. And this is... Miami? Hey, thanks for joining us today in no sunny Southern California. Oh, California. Well, stage of the USST, Didn't know there was a beautiful city of roller coaster Long Beach. California? Long Beach? Wait, California. Is this not... Oh, that roller coaster is called Long Beach. So is this not LA? Is it Long Beach? That's somewhere for sure. Oh, this car's terrible. I mean, the parking lot looks nice. It looks vibey and cool. The whole atmosphere. So I love the... the oh, these races are so good, man. They are really, really good. No matter how disinterested I seem with the game, I can accept that these are very, very good races. It's just I'm kind of bored of the game in general. But no worries, because hopefully Motorfest, you know, that's what we're waiting for. I mean, that looks kind of cool. What is that, like a mall? That's, a, that's quite cool, I guess, to drive past that too, a little under pass area. Okay, we're already 25% in, so thankfully it is not an endurance race, so we should be good. Here we go, going past the first one. I know someone said the Miami one is trying to be... That's not a roller coaster Ooh. up ahead. Oh? It's a pedestrian footbridge designed to look like one, built in on oh. an amusement park that used to be here known as the Pike. Huh. That's... It, that was actually pretty interesting trivia. Thank you, Mr. USB Tour Man. He seems to be having a lot more fun this time around. I'm, I'm glad he's enjoying it. He's actually giving me, like, trivia trivia. Before, it was just like, Welcome to Long Island. Welcome to uh, Daytona. Home of the whatever. Welcome to Miami. Known as this. Welcome to Chicago. Known as this. You know, he's actually getting to, like, he's got a little fun little trivia sheet now. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for the USB Tour Man. Right, this race, though, I'm not happy for myself for having to do it. Um, it's just a race. I mean, it looks quite cool. We're on the last lap now, so... And I'm only just barely getting used to the actual turning and whatnot. This turn's quite cool, right? The way it leads into that little roundabout there. I'm kind of lost on where this is. This is... Okay, this is in LA, but it's like what one specific area in LA called Long Beach? Sure. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I imagine it is. I, I, I have no idea. Mr. USB Tour Man, talk to me. Tell me some big trivia about this place right now. Quick, 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 do it. Do it now. Okay, fine, don't then. Nice views of the Pacific coming up after these two turns. On a clear day, uh -huh. you can see all the way out to Catalina and the Channel Islands from here. Huh. That's quite cool. I mean, sure. I was at uh, the South End, the beach, a while ago, and you could see some islands that, there's some other UK islands from that. So, like, it's quite cool being able to see a different and that's race place. Six in the can. Oh. We've only got two more left, and it's going to take us all oh, the yeah. way across the country to the capital on the Potomac. Washington. Oh, we got a Washington next. Oh, kind of cool. Okay. That one is now done at 121 thousand points and so far no broken events we're going into the firebird trans am now which is this one yes it is okay let's uh wax some parts on it now i'm just gonna accept that this one is gonna be utterly utterly painful the trans am is a really really bad car although it is slightly cool because it's a poo's car from simpsons hit and run so I really like it for that. Like, just being in it brings me that little bit of nostalgia from Simpsons Hit and Run, I guess. But Listen to other than that, thing. no, oh wait, Let's is wait. it bad actually? I don't know, I kind of just assumed that. Oh, well that's a body roll. It feels rather heavy. God, it's so big as well. What in the American proportions is this? Like, why is it so big? It's supposed to be sporty, but it's the size of like a pickup. Also, no, this thing is quite bad. It's sliding all over the place. But like, yeah, you know, whatever. I expect it as much. Here we are taking the jump. But there is a kind of a thing on this event where it's just like what direction to go. Because there's like three different directions you can go at one point in this event, which is coming up right about around this corner. So when you go down into this tunnel, you'll notice that there's a ramp you can go off of, there's, uh, you can go straight and then turn, you can do a bunch of other stuff. You want to not take the ramp, you don't want to keep going straight, you want to go, uh, okay, well, you can't go straight, really, or jump off of that, or go take the ramp, whatever. 
The way I just went, that's where you want to go. I'll show you on the second lap so it's a bit clearer. Here we go. The second lap shouldn't be that hard. Here we go. Now we're back in the tunnel. So like I say, don't take the ramp. Keep on going. And... It's sort of just simple from there. I realize you can't really go anywhere else after this one because obviously if you took the ramp You'd come off up there anyway as well uh, or you'd go around that really weird way So yeah, you kind of saw there. That's just where you gotta go on that one But other than that, it's basically a very very simple race like uh, what else for this is there's nothing else really needed to be known for that one. And there we go now on to our second to last race, which uh, again, I forgot to check what the last one is. It's like a, well, the second to last one's a street one of some kind. Oh, the last one's touring in Rallycross. That's an interesting choice. Okay, yeah, I don't know why I even checked. Street race, no restrictions, is obviously going to be the Kuntash. In what world would it have been anything other than the Kuntash. I'm sending happy winning thoughts. Thank you, Hero, for the happy winning thoughts. Oh, it's this race. It's a simple one. That last race is going to be interesting. Touring and Rallycross. I assume they've done that at least a few times before, but it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. In fact, why do I see in my head McLaren MC summon um, in touring in a Rallycross race? I feel like they've done that before, but I might just be completely making that up. Make sure you go far to the right, because there's a weird hitbox on that, like, yellow wall where sometimes it can just like absorb you and slow you down even if you're nowhere near the wall it can like yeah just decide it's gonna slow you down of course just take decent racing lines preferably right like don't drive badly that's one of the best tips i can give you really you can kind of dink that wall you can go full force into that wall i'm fairly certain because obviously wall ride you know you slow down just as much as you would if you were braking there's kind of a goofy cut for this one i don't really like Okay, no, no, I'm just not going to use it. No, okay, that, don't use it. I believe it's bad. But there you go. That one, They patched a bunch of things in this race as well, if I recall correctly. Decent straight road here. And then this turn, which leads into an, basically another one of like that first turn where it's like a, you get it, like a curving angle into a hard angle, basically. I mean, when it's as simple as this, like it's not a goofy car. It's just the best street car in just a street race, no weather even, like, there's not even a mood on this one. I just realized there's not even a uh, mood on this one. It's just a street race. They <laughs> feels like they kind of gave up, if anything. It's just a no restrictions, decently popular street race. Okay, that's unfortunate. That is something you try not to do, preferably, obviously. But yeah, it's just a no restriction street race. I mean, like, you know, yeah, sure, I guess, you know, like, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Especially when it's one that's in PvP so often, right? Like, I know this race off by heart. And there we go. 2 minutes 40. I don't think that's terribly good. I think that's probably okay. Uh, we got... I've not bothered to see the thing. We got a hundred and... Something thousand. A hundred and twenty-four thousand. That's... Decent. And again, no broken races. And finally, the 911 Carrera RSR Turbo. 911 Carrera RSR Turbo in touring? There's a... Huh? That's a thing? Is it just the 911 GT3 RS looking thing? I mean, I, I imagine it's a Porsche. Is it this? No, that's a GT3 Cup. 911 Carrera... Oh, it's this one! Oh! A lot of switching parts this uh, summit. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's just annoying. But uh, what car do we just use? We use the Ferrari. There it is. Swap those. And it's a... Oh, it's a stage. Okay, so that shouldn't be as bad as I was expecting. It should be kind of simple. It's just Sid Wire delivery as well. I forget who made this one, but uh, someone made this. Okay, so the only really... There'll be a few off-road bits, but for the... Like, Golden a Hills large chunk Los of it Angeles, should be street. So Nevada, that'll be nice. To California. It's stage number six. Hey, it's the US Speed Tour West. US Speed Tour guy. See, that's all you got to say. You know, I imagine, will he give us more trivia? I don't remember much trivia in this one, frankly. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he did get to give us some fun, silly little trivia in this uh, one as well. And also, I'm curious if that roller coaster thing, is that like a real thing? Because... And how long has that been in the game if that's a real thing? Because I'm surprised if that is a real thing that they knew to put in. Because I've never heard of that. Impeccably niche. Other stuff like the Staple Center, which they renamed the Basket Center. I uh, guess they didn't get that license quick enough. But stuff like that, I guess, is uh, 
Like, I at least slightly know that. And we're on the off-road bits now. This is going to be painful. This is frankly painful because I'm full throttling too because I'm not bothered to actually throttle manage right now. Not the worst it could have been though, I guess. Just need to like not slide out. Oh, is there going to be like a... Oh, I don't know how much of this is going to be off-road. It might be a lot of it. Oh, no. I mean, it's the fact that you're like... You're basically like RPM limited when you're off-road. It's really annoying. Like, you just get to a certain speed and then you're... Okay. I need to stop full throttling out of turns. But like, yeah, it's the fact you're like throttle limited or whatever I, I don't know what the proper word for it is but the top speed is way way less off-road and that's one of the most annoying bits stop stop just going into every wall it's not funny oh it's our turbo okay slowly yep there we go slowly okay and slowly yep lower you go the faster you go that says a lot about society, I reckon. Oh, are we turning right? Okay, good, good. We're back on the road here. Great. I don't know for how long, but as long as we're on the road for at least a little bit, this should be slightly simpler. And I forget how long these events were, man. 50% and we're just over three minutes? US Speed Tour events were long. Damn. Oh, and we're heading off-road. Not even like a dirt road. There we go. There's the dirt road. We just kind of got sent off-road there for a bit. Okay, well, like, what is the... Okay, whatever. Whatever, actually. You know what? Whatever, actually. Whatever. Coming towards the end now, and I'm just realizing, yeah, USB Tour Man doesn't speak a word. Like, he doesn't say a single word back in these ones. I'm sure he will once we get there, right? He'll be like, and now our racers are in sunny wherever. But, uh, they can't stay long, but they might stay at insert X area. On to the next stage. You know, some real, uh, some real riveting voice lines like that. Last checkpoint before there he is. Los Angeles. The <laughs> competitors are about to discover the Pacific Ocean. Oh. oh. Well, well, there you go. Exactly. It's literally, it's, uh, hey, this location, this thing that's here. Done. That's the whole thing. In the new USB tour, he's like, hey, and like, there's some, sh there's this shop down the road, and... They make, like, a nice grilled sandwich, you know? It's like, give me that kind of trivia, you know? Oh, and actually, that's done with 63rd, which even on a normal summit video, that's pretty high. But, uh, no events were broken either. That was a pretty decent summit. That was, a, that was an alright one. Decent. Now I need to get this video out, which is going to be a goddamn pain. But, that's about it from me. Thank you to popular members, especially thank you to famous members, and an insane thank you to star members Danimal the Manimal, TK Troller, and Grim Pepper, and an insane, insane thank you to icon member Chim Charming. That's gonna be about it from me, boys, in a bit.